Hey everyone, uh, it's Christmas Eve and it took me till just now to finally get in the Christmas spirit. So um, this year time has been so out of whack and so nonsensical, but I threw this on to feel a little more festive today and I think it's working a little bit. Um, anyways, so today our good and his honest boys one year ago did a beautiful video called Santa's Mukbang, which I think is a Korean sort of um, drinking contest or something. I'd have to look that in, look into that, but I would believe that Mark being, uh, having uh, South Korean descent. Um, but yeah, Santa's Mukbang drinking one gallon of eggnog. And they did like this sort of pyramid of increasingly larger eggnog drinks. Um, and Ethan had a really cute festive suit on. I really liked that. And this was the video that the other day I was just trying to find Ethan's festive suit and somebody had actually re-uploaded this video. So you can actually find this one. Um, and I might even rewatch it um, if I if it's still out there and it hasn't been removed from the internet. So, um, but my little tribute, my cheers to that is I went to Starbucks hmm. and I got a venti iced eggnog latte. I got a quad. Um, I asked for no ice, but they gave me ice, but honestly, less eggnog I have to drink. I'm not really mad about it. The only reason I asked for no ice was because I was going to try to do this after my dad's family gathering. But now this just makes me need to do this video now so that it doesn't get half watered down and disgusting by the time I get back home. And also, I asked for straight eggnog. So if you are ordering an eggnog latte at Starbucks, I don't know how, how other places do their eggnog beverages, but at Starbucks... This year, I don't know if they might, oh, again, they also might change it next year. Who knows? Um, they cut the eggnog. It's about half eggnog and half nonfat milk. So if for any reason, like, you really hate nonfat milk, like, I've tried the eggnog latte and been kind of, like, disappointed with it in the past, and I think it's because it's cut with the nonfat milk. I would almost rather get cut with whole milk or 2%, or even, like, it might be good with, like, coconut milk or oat milk or something. It might be really good with soy milk. I'm not going to lie. Almond milk, eh, Starbucks' almond milk is not, mm. It's fine. It's fine. Disclaimer, this is not the opinion of the company. This is just my opinion as having been a Starbucks barista. So, um, but I wanted to get this beverage. This is my own little Santa's mukbang. And then I also nabbed the cookies my friend Katie made me for you, made for me the other day. Um, she made me this incredible assortment of cookies. I've already poked into them a little bit. But uh, I tried to save a few, and there's like these cucitari or the, like, the Italian fig cookies. She got these pumpkin ones. She got these like lemon butter cookies, chocolate, M&M, these little cake balls. Like, so I'm going to have some eggnog latte and cookies and just kind of like think about my holiday season and like what is kind of going on. Like this year has been so crazy. Um, and also, oh yeah, to be festive, like Ethan did, I got, I got put on this little festive dress. So this is just cute. I got this at like Michael's, um, the shoes, I, the boots I got at like Kohl's, but I got this at, no, not Michael's, sorry. Michael's is a craft store. I got this at Marshall's, um, two Christmases ago, as well as a snowman one, which I'll probably wear tomorrow. Um, the long sleeve shirt is not part of the dress, uh. So I can kind of choose how I do to do that, but it's cold today. So I was like long sleeves. Um, but yeah, so sorry, my energy is kind of like crazy. Cause I'm like, Oh, I have to get to my dad's and I have to finish this video before I go to my dad's. And then I have to go pack the presents because I kind of have them, but they're just kind of like there, like <laughs> in the shopping bag still and write a little letter. Um, I'm really excited because my dad always does a Christmas like game every year. Um, I'm going to try a sip of this beverage, by the way. I'm really glad that they didn't like, I'm not even mad about the ice because like, then I get to actually enjoy the espresso flavor instead of it just tasting like eggnog. But anyways, yeah, I'm not really mad about this. Um, I'm going to drink this. I feel like a venti, also I'm just going to say, I feel like a venti is an absurd size of a beverage. Like I will, I will sometimes order like a venti iced tea, but for like espresso drinks, like drinks that have milk, like this is way more than I would normally drink. Like, I just think it's like a little unnecessary, like venti frappuccinos. It's like a 26 ounce milkshake. Just me, you know, that's just, that's just my hot take. I remember talking with my friends about how like in Italian cafes, if you order a cappuccino, like it is going to be a little six or eight ounce beverage. Like this is such an Americanized thing that we have these big 
beverages, which are like fun. Like they're, you know, it's a nice little treat, but usually if I'm ordering a Starbucks, like under normal circumstances, not under YouTube entertainment circumstances, um, I'm getting like a tall or a grande. It's just my personal preference. Mm. But I'm going to drink this for Mark and Eve. They did even more than this. They did a whole gallon of eggnog and I'm cutting it with espresso because there's my own twist on it. Mm. It's actually really good. So far, I just taste the espresso. I have a feeling they like prepped it and then put the espresso on top because I'm getting this like eggnog down here, which like honestly, they call that an affogato shot where you put it on the top. And honestly, like I'm a big fan because then you get that espresso flavor forward, like in a caramel macchiato, um, which again is another Starbucks invention. Uh, they do that like espresso on top, but it's really nice because like you get that espresso first and it kind of blends with the beverage, I think. So anyways. Mm. I'm going to try one of these chocolate chips because I don't even know if I got to try one of these the other day. And can't go wrong with chocolate chip, right? It's basically one of the food groups for elves, right? Santa's elves, not like, you know, uh, mythical elves. <laughs> they probably... Can you imagine if mythical elves, like, <laughs> had, like, cookies and sprinkles and bullshit? They're too sophisticated for that nonsense. I don't know. Dropped a crumb. Hmm. Mm. These are so good. These cookies, what I've had so far. I haven't had the pumpkin ones or the cake balls. But my friend Katie is such a good baker. Like, if she ever gets a bakery, I would be happily her um, head barista. I would support her business if I could. Like, she's incredible. Um, she got me into the Great British Baking Show, which, like, is amazing and fun and stuff, too. And she makes bakes that that I think would compete well on the American Baking Show or whichever iteration. Mm. But yeah. It's a good classic chocolate chip cookie. Something about, like, I noticed this in the M&M cookie too, like, something about her recipe for her actual cookie batter is so satisfying. Like, it's not, like, too sugary or too crumbly or too gooey. It's just, like, it's such a good cookie. Like it's, it's like top tier cookie base, and like, then you know chocolate chips would just elevate that. Mm. Another question for y'all. I remember we had a, a, me and some coworkers like we're talking about what do you call a chocolate chip cookie without chocolate chips? Would you call that just like a cookie, a sugar cookie? Would you call it a chocolate chip cookie without sugar, without chocolate chips? Like what? How do you how do you categorize that? <laughs> I think it's always like fun to think about like. What do you call things without cheese or without like, like, I'm sorry, like my brain skipped a beat there. What do you call things that are like defined by the thing in their name, but without the thing like cheeseburgers, you call them hamburgers, but some people like are insistent they want a cheeseburger without cheese, you know, like all that sort of thing. So I think that's like very interesting, but you know, eh, language is what it is. So, mm. oh man. Is so good. I know I'm like kind of in a bit of a time crunch, but I'm trying to think. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Like, um, I'm really excited to see my family. I always, you know, hang out with my dad and my brother. And the last couple of Christmases also with this girlfriend who's an incredibly very sweet and funny <laughs> person. So she's wonderful. Um, but yeah, my dad always makes these like games and he always has ever since like ever since I was in high school ever since my parents got divorced I guess like they've like my dad has always just it used to be whenever we lived in a bigger house it used to be kind of a scavenger hunt where we'd run around the house and like find little figurines or little ornaments or I think like the first year that I remember my dad had gotten all these happy feet little figurines and it was like really cute and he like you know had us go hunting for them and gave us clues and we have to bring them back for the next clue and all this sort of thing. As long as my dad makes it more of like a story based thing and he'll like have a whole script he'll read. Or uh, I think like last year, two years ago, he made us like kind of a Monopoly sort of board that we had to play or like a Candyland. And we just had our little tokens and went around. And, and uh, <laughs> I remember for one of the things, it was uh, one of the one of the things you could win was reindeer poop, which was really like just raisinets, um, chocolate covered raisins. <laughs> 
is, I don't know, my dad's got a nice little bit of cleverness and so it's, it's always nice that he makes these little games for us to play. Um, but yeah. They did stack this with ice. I feel like, honestly, I can't blame them. Like, it's probably better for me that it's not all eggnog. I was thinking if like it hadn't gotten ice, I would almost like spike it. But honestly, it's like just very well balanced as it is. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. These are so good. So yeah, she made me also these um cucci adatti, I guess, an Italian fig cookie. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, but those were really good. Like it, like the fig filling that she either made or used. It's very good, very like fruity and well balanced without being too sweet. And then the actual like cookie of it was like almost had like an almond extract. It was really delicious. And these lemon butter cookies were like just so nice and buttery and melt in your mouth. And then that lemon kind of comes in and spikes at the end. Like I thought that was, she's just a really good baker. And I just I have like such talented friends. <laughs> like, so it's really awesome. Um, Yeah, my mind's kind of like slowed down, so that's nice. I just feel like I have like so much I've been meaning to do and be putting off these last couple of days. And now I'm finally trying to get my shit together. Those are the rules. Um, but yeah, I loved Ethan's suit that was in the Unis Honest. I know, like, sorry, my head is everywhere. Enjoy it. Um, you're welcome. But, like, Ethan's suit was really cool. Like, I would totally wear a suit like that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I got this dress at Marshall's. I think I mentioned that already. It was, like, 20 bucks, and the other one was, like, 15. They also had, like, a cute, like, like, the other one's, like, a snowman one. The other one I got, what, I got a third one. Or I was thinking about getting a third one. I didn't. I was thinking about actually returning that snowman one. But, like, by the time it was, like, you know, a 10-day return policy or whatever, I, uh, I just, like, totally would put it off. And I was, like whatever it's fifteen dollars um which like in hindsight like maybe like honestly like sometimes fifteen dollars can be a lot um so I just was in a, I was in a financial position where it wasn't such a big deal but it's kind of funny how sometimes it can be um but yeah sorry that was like a really unappealing drinking noise I just made there mm. I'm gonna finish this on my way to my dad's, I think, though. Because, like, y'all aren't gonna sit and watch me just chug chug this whole dealy. I am going to, though, because I have a problem. Um, oh, they're gonna have so many cookies there. Oh. I'm thinking about bringing these to my family, but also I wanna keep them for myself, but also I want them to be, like, fresh and enjoyed while they're fresh. <laughs> See, this is how my mind works. I always have, like, considering way too many things. And it's exhausting to live like this. Um, I've never been, like, diagnosed with, like, ADD or anything, but my brothers both have ADD or ADHD, so, like, I wouldn't be surprised if I have some little bit of that where my head is always weighing a million things. Or maybe that's just the way some people's brains work. Um, I think that's interesting. Sometimes we categorize things so distinctly or so certainly, and it's, like, Brains are weird, man. Like, everybody's got their quirks. Um, I don't know if I know one single, like, totally, like, normal-minded person. Like, everybody's got, everybody's got something, you know? Mm. I do like that Starbucks has, like, changed to the sippy cup model. And it's interesting, because people will still ask for straws, which I'm like, I just think it's unnecessary. I would rather um, just have something that saves a little bit of plastic so that's my vibe this is really good i'm actually really happy about this um i have a few other things i need to do tonight but i mean i don't really have anything else to say i think that you know mark and ethan did a fun little drinking a gallon of eggnog challenge and um i felt okay here okay here's the other thing i was thinking i thought they did a video called too many cookies but maybe they didn't. Like, I wasn't seeing one flipping through. Um, or if they did, maybe they did it, like, way later. Um, and, like, the thing that also I was thinking about that I meant to mention even in a previous video is 
maybe I'm conf confusing it a little bit with this um, series called Gill and Gilbert, which was um, Brian David Gilbert and Patrick Gill of Polygon. And they did this little duo, they called it, God, what did they call it? They called it like Nightmare Public Access Stream or something. You can find them still on YouTube, I think. Um, would recommend. They are hilarious. They are like, they're, they're, they're two more like, just like a, such an iconic duo and they, they have such good like um, comedy like sense between them and everything. So I'm like, if I did, if, if Mark and Heath didn't do it too many cookies, Brian David Gilbert and Patrick Gill, Gill and Gilbert still did a, I feel like they did something. Maybe it was like a Mario Kart. You had to eat the cookies before the race finished. They did something and like, they're just hilarious too. Um, and they're very much like, if you are one of those people like me that is like missing that Unis Honest energy, do check them out. Cause I remember watching them like early in quarantine before I even knew Unis Honest was a thing. And I watched through their like, I don't know, like was it 10 or 20 videos? Um, they're each like an hour long. Um, and they like play a video game and they have a gimmick or a game to play on top of that game. It's kind of a little bit of a yo dog, um, or inception or whatever you want to call it. Um, but they do like, uh, what do they do for the first one? It's, it's always something like while one of them is playing the game, the other one has to do an activity of some nature. And like, I think one of my favorite ones is they did Splatoon. Like one of them had to beat the Splatoon boss. And within that time, the other one had to paint a painting of whatever the chat recommended. So, um, there's just like a lot of fun. So anyways, uh, I'm just going to stop running my mouth. I think I've covered everything I wanted to. Um, I'm going to finish this, but not on camera because nobody wants to watch that. If you want to watch that, tell me why in the comments. Who are you? Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, go enjoy some uh, some festivities, some eggnog. Um, it's, it's Christmas, y'all, even though it don't feel like it. Um, and if you're if you're struggling, if you like wish you could go home for the holidays or you don't really feel festive. Um, I'm very much a lot like that. And like, I, I still am kind of like eh, Christmas, meh. but, um, I'm hoping you at least some sort of cheer or like some relief. Cause sometimes the holidays can just be stressful and like <laughs> depressing and, um, that's okay. Uh, and I, I wish we did more cause I feel like for me, one of my biggest issues is I, you know, the feeling of Oh, somebody gave me a gift. I need to get them a gift. Like, and I wish we had less of that. And I hope, I hope nobody in your life is giving you that trouble because nobody needs that. Um, and I wish we could more just give gifts because we want to, because, oh, I, I saw this and I thought of you. Like, I think that that's the most beautiful stuff whenever somebody just genuinely wants to give you a gift. And I'm the kind of person where like, no day in the year needs to tell me when I need to give somebody a gift or do something nice. Like I'm going to buy somebody a meal if I want to. I'm going to, oh my God, I saw this cute book or this knickknack, trash key or whatever. And like, I'm, I'm just going to get it. Like, I, I, you know, why do you need a, why do you need a festivity? Why do you need a holiday, a, a birthday, a, a Christmas, a whatever? Like, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, that. that's my vibe. Like, you know, just, just do things. And I wish also like gift giving is only one of the five love languages and six, if you count um, distance and space as, as, as one. But um, like, I think that there's so many more meaningful things. I think like spending time together for the holidays, even like a zoom call. Um, I think that like, if you can do that, if that, if that, you know, is something that satisfies you um, this, especially this crazy season where like nobody's allowed to see anybody um, or not supposed to anyways. Like, I wish we, I wish we made that more normal, more acceptable. And, um, I'm going to try to cut this off soon, but like, yeah, I, you know, I, I hope you, I hope you feel, feel welcome and, 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 and whole this time. I know this is like such a hard time and like, I struggle with it too. So, um, I think that's all I've got though. I kind of like, I know I talked all over the place, but, um, that's that's the vibe of this nonsense channel I'm making. So enjoy, <laughs> love it or leave it. Y'all don't need to subscribe. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'll see you guys tomorrow.